reserve time. Welcome back, everybody, to game number two of the Dubai Esports Championship. And I am, of course, Wolf Dota. Thank you very much for tuning in. We've got Elab going up against Fel Mist. Elab able to take that game off the back of a uh, interesting minus, ar well, not in a uh, minus armor strategy and a Naga Siren that uh, farmed her pants off. It was rather impressive. But uh, Fel Mist, we'll see if they can retaliate and tie the series up at one apiece. Unfortunately, my co-caster wasn't able to make it into the lobby Radiant in time, so it'll be just me again. But uh, there might be more games coming up after this. We'll have to wait and see. Ten seconds remaining. Io going to get banned out as well as the Slardar here Five right away. Neither one of them really wanting to deal with that, but should be all right. Um... Reserve time. Quick little shout out to the Dubai Esports guys though, Lord of Castamere. He's been doing a good job of hosting and uh, getting me in all the lobbies. Dire team back. Radiant team pick. But Invoker gonna get banned out once again as well as the Bane. We'll have to see what they want to do here. Um other than that, shout out to the guys for just letting me cast the games. I appreciate the chance. And uh, hopefully they'll let me do some work for them in the future, as I believe this is the last game I'll be doing for them. So, we'll have to, uh, hopefully we'll be around soon. I'm going to try and get back into the Join Dota League, do some uh, Season 9, it's starting up soon. I'm going to be a person or two there still, so hopefully they'll let me in. But uh, other than that... We'll wait and see. Dire team pick. Darkseid is going to be the first pick, so here that kind of fell off, he took a couple of couple of nerfs here. Ion Shell can now be purged, and uh, so that's a little bit tough for him. I believe there are also some mana cost increases. One last. Disruptor good counter to the Darkseid, can lock him in place with the kinetic field, as well as drag him back or send him away with the glimpse. Static Storm, also a very powerful spell, Thunderstrike. Good damage and the ability to track people down and uh, kind of keep an eye on them so you can get those long range glimpses off or other forms of initiation so people can, you know, get the nice blink follow up or whatever it may be. Charge of Darkness, Empowering Haste, Greater Bash, Nether Strike. We've got a Spirit Breaker in the game and we'll see what he's able to do here. Can stun up the Darks here as well, but. I guess Spirit Breaker is kind of a decent hero. Good initiation on pretty much everybody. Two, two gar well, almost two guaranteed stuns. You've got the Nether Strike as well as the uh, charge in. So. Ten seconds remaining. Shouldn't be too big of a deal for them to uh, find the initiation they remaining. need to. Radiant team back. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Sorry about that if you guys heard some noises. I was just taking a vitamin Radiant C. Team Wakes you up a little bit. Makes it easier to uh, to focus as well. Jark up to the last pick of the first phase. Razor and Jug both gonna get banned out. Looks like Elab weren't too, too big of a fan remaining. of it. They didn't like dealing with that in the mid lane. 
five seconds must have caused them a couple of problems. Reserve time. Raid King is get banned out. That's a strange ban. Dire team as, ban. as well as the Dire TA. I'm not ban. sure why they would go ahead. Why they would ban the Raid King? It uh, seems a little bit odd to me. Normally, a hero that when you pick it up, it's usually a support. The odd time it's ran is a core. So maybe Fel must have played against him before, and they know something I don't. But either way. Uh, Ten seconds. We'll see where really they want to go from here. So what are some? They've like no tusk Five picked up for either team or banned out. So maybe we'll see some of that snowball. Well, tusk would actually be really is really bad against disruptor. You can just drop the uh, kinetic field static storm right on top of where the snowball is going to hit, as long as disruptor is not the one who gets stunned. And then he's very difficult to. Uh, Radiant Very difficult for the team to get anything hit. off. Nature's Prophet and Zeus picked up for Elab though. So lots of global presence. Maybe a bit of a cheese strat here. They can get the charge in as well as the Thunder God's Wrath and the nature Wrath of Nature. But there's a Night Stalker grab. So once he has the Dags, he's got the true vision. Can always track down the Nature's Prophet. As well as has that Silence to uh, do a lot of damage to the Mini Bash to stun him up and whatnot. Ten seconds remaining. It'll be curious here. So... Fell missed in the mid lane. They're gonna have to get somebody that can deal with the spam of the Zeus, or at least trade effectively with him. Um, haven't seen a whole lot of Shadow Fiend coming up from from this tournament, so maybe it's just not something these uh, that's run in in these kind of in these circles. But I th think Shadow Fiend normally be okay. You can spam the Zeus down really really well with those long range raises. He only needs to hit one or two of them in an auto attack every now and then to uh, keep the Zeus a little weary. I'm just sure it's going to get picked up here. We'll see if that's a core, but it's probably going to be a support. And I guess that'd probably be a support Night Stalker unless they want to run him mid. They do have that option. Uh, he's tanky enough to maybe handle the Zeus spam. And then once he gets those levels, all he, that's all he really needs out of the lane. Levels and a pair of boots. Then he can uh, go ganking with the maybe hopefully... Uh, Three points in Void, and remaining. then a point in, two points in Hunter of the Night, or one point in Crippling Fear, one in Hunter of the Night. We have to see. Spectre's going to be the final band coming out for Felmist, as well as the Lich on Elab. Again, not banning out a couple of the heroes in the last match, so maybe just uh, not a big deal here. Slaughter and Bane were also taken out early on, so didn't want to deal with that stuff again. And final pick. They've only got a couple seconds left here, but they have a lot of reserve time to choose from to help make their decision. So five seconds remaining. Reserve time. And and I think this will be a support venge. And let, like they could do something weird, run the mid gyrocopter, which I've seen, but it's not spectacular I don't know he just doesn't he needs a little bit more farm than that anti-mage is gonna be the pickup here though Radiant kind of a hmm. kind of a brave pick in the anti-mage never never more on that night stalker should be able to deal with him lots of uh, lockdown potential here they've got a lot of stuns coming out the silence, uh, they've got a good stun from the Venge and the Tiny, as well as uh, the silence coming from the Night Stalker. Lots of burst damage and some minus armor. But if Ray Jax can uh, farm like Anti Mage, like he did on Naga Sign, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. We'll see if the Tiny in the mid lane, though, is able to uh, do anything. I imagine that's going to be a support Night Stalker. But, was that just waiting for them to load in here? And we'll finally have this match underway. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And the game's gonna start off with a pause once again, so. It's all good, I guess. 
as the camera always messed up early on here. Oh well. Let's quickly run through the, the heroes. We've got God playing the Zeus. Sir is playing a Spirit Breaker. Rajax on the Anti Mage. Standin is going to be on Disruptor. And Couch Potato, he's going to be playing the Nature's Prophet. We've got SS is going to be on the Darks here. Tiny is going to be handled by Virus. Or, uh, might just be Virus. Don't make everything too fancy. Nevermore is going to be playing the Night Stalker and Sandrith. It's going to be playing Darkopter and last, but certainly not least, Night Killer. It's going to be on the Vengeful Spirit. Looks like uh, Elab is ready to roll. It was that they who paused the game. But nonetheless, it doesn't look like they'll need, uh, they'll need to worry about it too much. These are the fools who don't have any cool effigies. Do these guys? Let's see here. That's that's all right. Interesting that it's in color still. I like the Io ones. How does Ricky backstab this? That's really good. That's really funny. Clockwork, I think he's mid hook. Uh, there's a Ricky. Look your back. And then somebody's got a golden one as well. So, full five man, uh, well, four man. And a Dracopter who's not sure how he got here. Running up to the top lane, just looking to maybe secure that rune, get a deep ward in, get a decent off lane start as well. Hmm. Interesting. Couple of Farron Fires on the Disruptor, extra harass when needed. Anti Mage is going to start with the Iron Talon recipe. He just needs to buy a Quelling Blade after he gets some last hit. Then he can uh, be able to move to the jungle very quickly. They might find the Disruptor here. He's going to be coming up this hill at the wrong time. The uh, anti mage pings him to go bottom, so maybe they'll lock, find him. Smoke's still not broken yet. It's gonna wear off just now. They've got a. Where do they want to put that ward? They're, they're gonna loop around here. If they'd gone back the other way, they might have been able to track down the anti mage, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. The Zeus is continues. gonna be able to claim the one rune in the bottom, but up in the top, it's gonna be uh, Tiny grabbing the other one. So both mid laners grabbing the rune. Good ward drop from the darks here, giving uh, some vision coming through, so they won't worry about ganks up there. And Sir Cribs, going to be in that off lane on the Spear Breaker. It is going to be the Zeus mid disruptor kind of roaming through. It's going to be a level 1 jungle prophet as well. Kind of an interesting choice. Oh, the trance got buffed, I guess, don't, didn't they? They used to only do, like, 26 damage, now they do 32, so... Drunkling will be a fair bit quicker. Can make more when, as he needs. Darks here, gonna surge through. Be able to, should be able to get this pull off as well. That's gonna cause some issues none the, for uh, for the anti mage and his farm. He's got that point in mana shield already, so the ion shell's not gonna be too bad for him. And, well, he'll just be able to go here and now clean up both the uh, these creeps as well as the neutrals. Darks here going to get zoned back by the Disruptor. Quite a bit of damage coming out from the Harass there as well. Zeus so in the mid lane trying to deal with the tiny bits he can. Toss, going to cancel that clarity, but it doesn't look like it's going to be much. Going to cut that bottle short as well with the Arc Lightning. Breaker doing all right, getting level two. Where's that Night Stalker? He is now rotated up to the top lane. Looks like he's just trying to zone out when he can, but I'm not sure how effective that is. Looks like he's probably just gonna be taking a lot of damage here. Once Anti Mage hits level three, he'll have that point in matter break as well, be able to do uh, quite a bit more damage, just prevent a lot of the spells coming his way. 
Looks like Tiny is getting zoned out fairly heavily by the Zeus. Zeus is going to be getting level 4 here pretty quick. Tiny's got to be a little bit careful here. They might be able to get this kill. Does Nature Prophet have a point in Sprout? He does not. But, oh, he does. He levels up. He gets level 3 just then. Able to get that first blood going his way. Nice job. That bounty rune going his way. Allowing him to secure that kill. Forcing Tiny to uh, stop for just a moment. Try and tango out of that tree, but... Unless he drops down. Really nice rotation from him and a uh, good call coming up from the Zeus. Tiny's now going to be a little ways behind. Ventral Spirit with an Invis Rune was able to find the kill and Zeus should be going down here. He will one punch the Tiny. Kill goes the other way. And that's actually probably worth more for the Tiny than the Zeus got from, uh, from killing him. But there was first blood that way. And Tiny's just going to bring forward, try and cancel out this pull. Might dick it up a little bit here, but it doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Nice Arc are taking quite a bit of damage here. Anti-Mage not getting, taking too much from the Ion Shell. And Nice Arc has got to be a little bit careful here. Dark is in trouble as well. He's going to pop an Ion Shell on himself. Glimpse back. Disruptor doing what he can. There's two Ion Shells here. They are going to have to be careful. anti just gets to go ahead and blink away. Doesn't want to deal with them. Now he's coming back. Fair and fire coming out from the disruptor. He's not going to get the kill, but anti should be able to clean them both up here. He is. Poison, not going to take him down either. Very nice drop for him, and he comes out way ahead in that. Should be able to buy that uh, ring, of re ring of Health from the side shop if he wants it. Oh, start working towards that Battle Fury. Going to put him in a really good spot. Net worth, overall he's at 1,800. Level with a tiny. Night Niche Prophet and Zeus all sitting there just, shy, just around 1,800. Looks like short little pause should be good to go. Zeus should might be able to get the kill here. He's gonna be able to bottle up. He's one more tick. There it is. Oh, the sprout just off, but the auto attack is there. It's Prophet hitting very hard already with those phase boots and a null talisman. So able to rotate in and get that kill. That's two deaths now for the tiny in the mid lane. Antimage is gonna get salved up from the disruptor. Good, like a good support should. He can give him a tango in a little bit here if he needs to. Spirit Breaker hasn't started rotating yet, but he's not level 4. He's got to be a little bit careful here. Nature's Prophet does as well. He's uh, pretty low. Nice Doctor and the Dark here able to get that kill, but anti is able to get the return kill. Maybe kind of. Mm, no, there's another Void there, so. I don't think he would have been able to trade too effectively, but he'll have a blink up in a little bit here. Should be just fine, but looks like in the bottom lane, Zeus is going to be getting chased down mid. He's going to drop as well. Bottom, looks like the Spirit Breaker is going to go down, pops the Parent Fire, gets the charge and the kill. Lots of kills happening all over the map here, and anti Mitch still dropping fairly low. Getting chased by the Night Stalker, pops the one, blinks away. Might be too much of a tower hit for the Night Stalker. He's... Oh, the Nature's Prophet's going to be here. One auto attack is going to be able to finish that up. I think that's three... The Disruptor went down three for two across the map. But... I want to say, uh... Elab, they come out ahead there, getting the more important of the kills on that Gyrocopter. I'm sure losing the Zeus isn't great, but he's already doing fairly well. He's got his level six, so... Now they can... They'll have that extra little bit of assistance. They've got a Sprout up for the Darks here if they need it. He does not have a way out. Disruptor's there as well. They're going to trap him in there. They can potty block him in. Doesn't look like they're gonna, going to yet, but they've got a Disruptor. Antimage is going to get stunned up by the Ventral Spirit. Unable to get right click down. Going to get glimpsed back. Antimage can go... Nah. Oh. Uh-oh. There it is. Nice try by the Ventral Spirit, but not able to get there. Void comes out onto the Disruptor. Not able to get the kill. Is it Antimage could look to engage, but doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Tiny's coming in. He does have enough for a combo. Uh, might be a dead Nature's Prophet, but it doesn't look like... Uh, it's going to be really close. It, the Nature's Wrath coming through is going to be enough, though. He was able to get that off before going down. So, looks like a double kill going his way. So, that would be two, three for one in the top lane. Radiance middle tower is under Not a great attack. rotation coming out from Felmist, but Elab, they're going to be very happy with that. Zeus had used his ulti earlier in that fight as well. Spear Breaker, though, still hasn't rotated around. Might be able to get this kill. Oh, He's going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Fair and fire up. Go for the charge. He's going to get that one. He is going to pay for it, though. But that's probably going to be worth it, considering who the gyrocopter is. 
Their one position for their offlaner is probably going to be a good trade every day. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Up in this top lane, though, Anti Mage. He's going to be doing all right. I'm gonna finish up those treads before he goes for anything else. Get that attack speed and a little bit of extra damage as well. Taking a fair bit of damage here. They're pinging out something. Not sure what it, what they're worried about, but there's nothing in there to be afraid of. Soul Ring recipe and a Ring of Regen for the Darks here. Up against. Uh, he's been having a bit of a tough time here. Spiritor's got a fair bit more than him. He's charging back to the lane. He's now level six. Got those uh, treads build up. Almost got an urn as well. He's gonna get stunned up, man. Calldown's gonna be there as well. He's gonna go for the TP out. He should be fine. But a little bit of interesting gauge up in the top lane or in the mid lane though. Zeus doing what he can. Tiny's gonna come in. He's gonna get spurted up underneath the tower. Spreaker is charging him. A couple more auto attacks should be enough. Yeah, that's gonna be it. He's gonna go down and now in the mid lane. Doesn't look like they're gonna. Do they want to commit for this? Spirit Breaker still charging. Dyer's they do have another Sprout coming up as well. If he had run through the tower, it might not have been the case. They've got the ulti that's going to pop. That should be a dead a dead Night Stalker. They're going to be able to get it as well. Water attack coming out. Oh, and a Bash onto the Venge. Might be able to get this one as well. they got another charge. A couple of seconds left. They're going to go for it. They want to commit to this. He just got a ship aggro onto the Treants. Should be fine. He's going to do it. There's a Zeus ulti that comes out. And another one going their way. So they get two kills between the Prophet and the Spirit Breaker. The run at them strat is working. Meanwhile, the Darkseer did fall up in this top lane to the team. Disruptor as well. Tiny able to come through, get the kill on to Nature's Prophet, ending his killing spree. Spirit Breaker's charging Radiance all the way down here. He's got a TP out. we just run back. Darkopter's trying to pursue, but unable to get there. Spirit Breaker's just too fast. Antimage doing a very good job of farming up. Actually goes for the headdress now, so a little bit curious. Doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to go straight for the battle fury. Maybe stopping off for a Vlad's first. It's kind of an interesting choice, but not necessarily terrible. I imagine he'll be able to get everything pretty pretty much about the same time. It'll give him the sustain he needs, so he won't have to worry about ever having to go back or anything like that, which can save time if you're getting harassed in lane as well. Zeus now leveling up that Arc Lightning. He's got that uh, Max Lightning Bolt, so the damage output from him is quite extraordinary. As well as he can get that Aether Lens, so increasing his, that other little, that extra little bit, and increasing the range on all his spells by that nice amount. Spirit Breaker is going to charge through. He's going to get Bash on both as well. Nature Prophet's here, Disruptor. He does not have his ulti, but he does get the Kinetic Field off. Now they're going to look for him. Blink back. Spirit Breaker able to get the Nether Strike off, and a double kill going his way. They should be able to convert this into a Tier 1 tower. And I don't think there's a whole lot they can do. Maybe Tiny can come through and try and clear the wave, but he's kind of low. That said, he is going to be able Radiance to find a boundary to bottle up. Under but in Radiance the end, with all these trans, it should fall. Wave of Terror is going to come through, but I'm not sure if that's going to do enough. Disruptor's looking for him. Might be able to find attack. him. He's got a couple of stick charges, so get off a couple of spells there. But Spirit Breaker TP's out. And Nature's Prophet able to get that last hit as well. So nicely done going their way. And it looks like Anti Mage to change his mind again. Gonna go back and finish the Battle Fury instead. Or at least the Perseverance. Just wants the, the health regen from the headdress and the extra couple stats as well. There's some inventory stage. He's gonna get stunned up as well, but I don't think they can get this kill. You have to back off. Oh, unless on the bottom lane. They're gonna be able to find. Oh, does it just do so? Not for 30 seconds. There's an urn that comes out from the Night Stalker. You're going to heal him up. They did lose the Spirit Breaker on the side of Elab. Gyro is dropping very low, but neither the Zeus ulti or the Prophet ulti will be able to attack. grab him. Radiance In the mid lane, though, they will claim another attack. tier 1 tower. Not something they got to worry about too much. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Another charge coming over from the Spirit Breaker. He's got a fair bit of damage here early, and they've got both the Zeus Ulti and the uh, the Nature's Wrath. They should be able to get the skill, and they will not see him either. I'll probably connect with him about here. 
Oh, and now the Nature's Prophet's gonna TP in. Where's the Sprout? Not gonna need it, just throws out the uh, Nature's Wrath. The Zeus Healthy does come out. Not able to snipe the kill, but does get the assist. And with that, lots of damage done across the map here. Adventure Spear drops very low from that. She's gonna TP back to the bottom tower. Jarcup just trying to rotate through. Spear Breaker's gonna get the charge off. He's gonna be gone and free. It just profit fairly low, but should be fine. Did go for a Midas. That's an arcane room for the uh, for the dragon copter. Up in this top lane though, Spirit Breaker charging up the tiny toss gonna come out onto the anti mage. Unfortunately, they're gonna go down. Dark here might be able to help. Stun's gonna come out. There's gonna feel static storm as well. That's gonna trap them both. Nicely done by the disruptor here, and Dark gonna get popped by the anti mage. So a dominating spree for him. Finished by that claymore. He just needs 500 gold, and he'll be able to bring down the. Uh, rest of his battle fury. And once he's got that, the flies will be quick behind, then a Yasha into a Manta style, and the game's looking really good for Elab so far. Like, the net worth chart, anti mage at 7,100, Nature Prophet at 6,800 as well. He's almost got an Ag. Once he has an Ag, so all those uh, bigger Treons are very difficult to deal with. Zeus here might be able to bring down the Night Stalker, and they do. Spreebreaker's charging the Venge, cancels it though. Before it connects, kind of an interesting choice there. They're going to just go for the tower, swap back from the bench onto the Nature's Prophet. He's going to be able to force them away with the trees. Nice sprout. And Benji is going to drop. Even search for the Dark Sphere, not able to save him. Back and back. They get one. Now they're looking for another. Black Cannon doing some work. They lose the Zeus and the Prophet up in the top lane. Now it's the Spirit Breaker who's in trouble. Anti Mage already back. But maybe looking to re engage. Do they want to fight this? Spirit Breaker's pretty healthy. They could look to. Anti Mage takes a bit of damage there. He does have a stick up. Already purchased a battle for you, but no, they're gonna back off. And then Timmy's just gonna go back to farming away in the jungle. And uh, you can get that battle for you whenever he needs to. Tiny thinking about it, but anti mage gone already. He's got a blink dagger of his own. Nice juke. Oh, oh no. This could be bad for the anti mage. He's got the blink, he's gonna be able to get it off. He's gonna stick up as well. Toggles his treads. He's gonna be okay. They don't have any globals to come and chase him down. Now that he's got that Battle Fury as well, he can uh, he does a fair bit more damage as well as be able to farm to his heart's content. Fear Breaker charging up in the to the top lane. Not going to come across anybody just yet. Was this a smoke? It is coming out there, but it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Oh, well, they find the Disruptor. Tiny able to get that kill with the Blink Avalanche Toss combo. He's going to go for the drums as well, increase that movement speed. And uh, give him just more stats in general, which is not a bad thing at all. And Tiny able to get off one more combo or even just an extra stun. He'll be pretty big. Anti-Mage able to bring them all down here, and uh, they should be able to clear and finish off this tier 2. I'm gonna pop the Glyph for it. Might be a little bit of a mistake here. In the bottom lane though, they're gonna look to go. They are gonna find the Gyrocopter. So far, just him going down. Nice Sprout from the Nature Prophet again. Venture Spear dropping very low. Nice Darker does try and take out a tree. Tiny looking to re-engage. He's kinda hurt already too. He's gonna have to be careful here. Zeus is gonna spot him down. Looks like they're gonna change their mind. They're gonna go for him, and they'll bring him down once again. Venge will be able to make it out all the while. The anti mage pressuring this top tower, starting to get some damage to it, but Darks here able to bring down the Treon, so will prevent too much hurt from being done. Nature Prophet's actually going to go for the very aggressive TP in. Anti mage eats out a tree, going for it. He's got mana void, I believe. There, he's going to be able to find that kill. Really nice plays coming out from these guys. Very ballsy. Stun's going to come out. Oh, and the Prophet, this is going to be bad for him. He's got no way to block, dodge that auto or the uh, tower attack, so he does fall. Swap from the anti mage, blink forward again. He's very hurt. He's got to be careful here. Eat some magic missile stun. When I talk her, he's gonna get the silence off and the urn. He's gonna drop. So staying, overstaying their welcome just a little bit. Starge out from the spear breaker should be fine. Up, well, down in the bottom lane. Zeus trying to pressure out this tower as best he can, but unfortunately with a tiny coming at him, there's the avalanche to toss. I don't think it's gonna get the combo damage. No, he doesn't. He's going to go for the TP out, one auto attack, and unable to get the second one. Unfortunately, not having those drums may have just cost Tiny that kill. Never see this coming. Would have been a big kill for Tiny solo, picking off level 11 Zeus. But unfortunately not able to get it. Charge onto the Night Stalker. 
Nature's Prophet now has that egg, so the pressure is going to be coming out. It's going to be a lot more. He's thinking about TPing in. Nice Doctor's coming in as well. There's the ulti that comes out. Zeus ulti as well. Nature's Wrath is not going to go through, though, unfortunately. A little bit of a mistake there. They're still thinking about Nature's Prophet now in trouble, though. Gyrocopter able to rotate through, and Spear Breaker is going to just have to let him go. Anti Mage finishing up that Vlad. He's going to continue to farm away. Actually, charge him to the Vengeful Spirit. Zeus is attack. in the area as well. No Blink Tiger on him yet, or Ags, but they should be able to get that kill, yeah. They do nicely done. And with that, so a little bit of space made there. They do lose their profit, but they get the Venge. They're going to be able to grab this Tier 1 tower and Mage hitting very hard at this point. Going to be pretty happy with how he's doing. Middle here, they're going to find another kill onto the Gyrocopter, dropping very quick to the Zeus, as well as the Disruptor Spirit Breaker. They almost went for an all. They went for a, kind of a blue strat here. You know, Spirit Breaker, Disruptor, Zeus, Nature's Prophet's green, Anti Mage purple, but Radiance bottom tower. So nonetheless, and they're just gonna go for this. Darks here TP's in. Unfortunately, the Sprout's a little bit off there. Spirit Breaker gonna go for that charge. Uh, I don't know about this. You might want to get out of here. Avalanche actually gonna miss. Unfortunate there, but they're looking for the kill, and that's probably gonna cost them this tier two tower. They do have a fort. They're gonna pop it, but Darks here doesn't have a blink yet. So you can't really follow up the tiny or force, or force out a really nice multi-hero avalanche, but yeah. Looks like it's gonna be okay Spirit Breaker picking up a Midas for the attack speed So he'll farm a lot quicker now, especially with the uh, use of the Midas the transmute as it's called Zeus Halty gonna come out. It's just wrath uh, on cooldown unfortunately though how much damage does that do now? Uh, Scepter max targets 18, Scepter damage starts at 210. Chance spawn timer, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So, quite a bit more damage. I'll start clearing creep waves after a handful of bounces. And, and he's gonna just continue to farm up once he got on the courier here. That would be his Yasha. So, moving through the jungle, trying to find what he can. Taking some farm from the enemy as well. Extra camp, nice for them to deal with. Oh, avalanche, toss, combo. It's gonna land, the silence comes out as well. anti mage he's in a little bit of trouble. Spearbreaker, nice job there, gonna get that stun off. Where's the static storm? It's gonna drop onto three, nicely done. anti mage able to get out. Disruptor is gonna fall though. And there's a missile chasing him down. Not, they're gonna be able to bring it down. There's another strike not coming out just yet. Deciding against it, anti mage doesn't want to fight yet. Zeus is here. Darkseer is going to get the back off as well. Charge through. Spirit Breaker setting up a couple. He's still got that Nether Strike. Zeus is back. He's got a um, Thunderbolt. Not going to go for it. There's a Mana Void. Does some okay damage. They're going to bring down the Gyro. Now they're looking for the Darkseer. Do they have any way to bring him down? They should probably go for the TP. And instead, they're going to look for the mid lane. Tiny gets that blink off. Spirit Breaker still charging. Going to cancel that teleport. They bring down the Ventral Spirit. Nether Strike as well. Tiny Virus. He's going to be going down. Gets off the Avalanche though. Nope. There's the Zeus. They get him with the Thunder God's Wrath. Very nice fight and turnaround coming out from Elab. Able to kite them out just enough. Allow their heroes to buy back and get back into the engagement. And now this might even be a lane of Wrath pressured here. For sure a tier 3 is going to take some damage. We'll have to see. Tiny has a buyback if he wants to spend it, but it's pretty early. And I think they're still pretty strong. Vacuum nicely done. Going to cause some problems here. Probably hold them to just damaging the tower. anti mage is going to blink out Disruptor. Does not have his kinetic or static storm yet. So they're going to have to be a little bit careful here. There is an aggressive TP coming up from the bench. He's going to try and get a stun off. Glimpse from the Disruptor. Nicely done. Unfortunately all it does is really save the Vengeance Spirit. Now they're going to go in the Night Stalker. Charge come through. There's a call down coming. Are they going to be able to bring down the Night Stalker though? He's not going to fall. Disruptor has gone down. The Night Stalker does drop. anti mage is going to get stunned up here. Zeus is in the area. He's got a haste rune active still. So he's not very afraid. Tiny's going to go for the avalanche toss. Unfortunately, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage to the anti-mage. He is going to be able to make it out. And he's going to live with that. Zeus ulti, 20 seconds, 44 on that. So Gyrocopter has got to be a little bit careful. But he'll be back in the well long before then. Roots and run. Tis mine. Another big fight going their way, and the net worth chart showing at 13,000 on the anti mage, 12,000 on the nature profit, 94 on the gyrocopter. One of the heroes keeping him alive in here, 87 on the Zeus, and uh, 82 on the tiny. 
Unfortunately, Tiny hasn't been able to get to that Ag Scepter just yet, but trying his best. Antimage now finishing up that Mantis Isle as well. He's going to be getting very tanky here. Could go for a BKB next if he wants. Looks like he wants to go for a Roshan. Nothing wrong with that. Zeus Healthy going to go out as well as the uh, Nature's Wrath. So, spawn some Trance in the pit. And just look to pressure out the lanes with all these extra Trance that he gets. So, does some decent damage as well. Does a lot to the bench. She's quite squishy. And now it'll do even more. Zeus has that Ags as well as an Aether Lens. So he's going to be getting that extra 8% damage. He's not going to be level 16 for a little bit yet. It's only level 13, but... It's here in the pit, they're going to be pretty happy with that. They pick up that Aegis, now they can really look to pressure. They can maybe look to go through this bottom lane or try to go back through mid. Maybe get a pick off first, which their lineup is very good at doing. Spirit Breaker picks up a Shadow Blade, so one thing that's interesting with that is you can start the charge, pop the Shadow Blade afterwards, and then so once the charge connects, you can then get that Shadow Blade hit instantly, as well as they can't see you even if they've got wards out, so they'll always be a little bit uncertain. They just drop it, trying to get away from the Drexia there, should be fine. He's now got a Blink Dagger, okay, so Guardian Greaves will be on the way in a little bit. If they can win a fight, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. But we'll have to wait and see how they want to go about it. Nature's Prophet doing an excellent job keeping the Radiant side in the base. Oh, that is a lot of damage coming out. That, that Zeus healthy hurts. Jeez. Yeah, that, and then with the Nature's Wrath coming through as well, probably hitting most of those heroes, it's going to be very tough. Octarine Core now even picked up, so very short cooldown for the Nature's Prophet on his ulti. Only going to be 45 seconds. Zeus, his is going to be quite a bit longer, but 90 seconds on him. But nonetheless, still, that's going to just... The Prophet can be everywhere and anywhere at any given time. Now, 15 second cooldown on his ulti. Nature's Call, 27 seconds. Sprout, only on a 6 second cooldown. Midas actually, as well, re cooldown reduced. Wait, huh? 52 second Midas? What? There you go. That's un that's crazy though. Shortbreaker gonna Shadow Blade away, unfortunately. Magic Missile will fall, or the, not the Magic Missile, sorry, the Homing Missile will track him down. But not a whole lot going on yet. Is there any signs of life coming from these guys? They've almost got their eggs on the Knight's Doctor. Tiny, he's almost got his as well. Just needs that point booster to finish it up. Dark's here. He's got that blink, as we mentioned before. Jarcopter, any big damage items? Nothing yet. But the S and Y, so a little bit tanky. He does do all right. And last but certainly not least, Spencer Spirit, she's got that casual cloak. So maybe get looking for a Glimmer Cape soon. We'll see. I think they might try for a smoke here. Just the way they're grouping up. If they can smoke out and track down the anti-mage and, and burn his Aegis, oh god, that's, that's rough. Like, that's just, that just hurts. It's Prophet gonna get tracked up here, there's this toss in the sun, he's gonna be going down here, they are gonna get that pick off, Dracopter able to get that kill. So, nice job for him, that's gonna be a uh, bit of a streak as well, but the Night Stalker does fall on the bottom side. Looks like they were able to bring him back with a glimpse. And now they're going to look to go. Antimage still has this Aegis, so he's not going to be too afraid pressuring this tower. He's got lots of creep help as well. Nature Prophet will be up shortly. Magic Missile dodges the... Uh... Oh, sh that Tiny took a lot of damage there very quickly. Antimage, force back. There's a glimpse. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Avalanche toss. That's going to be the Aegis going down. And Kinetic Field is going to force them back. He does have his blink up. Not going to be too worried about it. They've almost got the tower though. Charge is going to go up to the top lane. Looks like they're going to back off for now. Zeus picking up his bots. So what's going to happen here is the Zeus is going to have his... Uh, he's going to pick up a refresher orb eventually, I'm sure. Oh, tiny. He's got that eggs now after that little bit of a, that little bit of a kill. So his farm speed will be a lot better and he does a lot more damage. But still these Treons just... 
causing problems. They're everywhere. Nothing they can really do about them. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Superbreaker just charging around the map, doing whatever. They'll have to like just continue with this turtling. Chrysalis picked up by the dis by the gyrocopter. That's a lot of farm. Picked up by the gyro, so does have some options there. Oh, that glimpse range though, two thousand units, two thousand unit glimpse, as well as that cast range on that. It's huge. Is the placement for the kinetic field is a lot bigger, as well as the placement for static storm. So, nice job there. Just allowing the disruptor to create, have a little bit further distance in between him and uh, anybody else. And there's a refresher orb start for the nature's prophet. Imagine that's what Zeus is looking for as well. And to me, she's got 6,000 gold in the bank, so he can pick up whatever he wants, be it a uh, heart, butterfly. I still think heart would be really good. Allow him to tank up a fair bit. There's not a whole lot of physical damage, like right click damage coming out, but let's see. He's making a deci decision here. You could just go for a basher as well, give him a little bit of stats as well as the ability to lock somebody down. Anti mage. <laughs> Mitch Profit, you cheeky bastard. The seeds of fortune. So, 7,000 gold on him. What's he want? He's got to buy something, it's driving me nuts. Tiny, smoked up, along with the rest of his team, they could go for the blink. Tiny's Radiant gonna get searched for it. Oh, unfortunately, just attack. waited a little bit too long. So they want to commit here. Darkseer blinks up to the top, gets the vacuum off. He's gonna get glimpsed out, though. And Night Stalker is stealthed up, still looking to rotate in. And he makes blinks forward, gets a haste rune. There's the Zeus ulti, as well as the Nature's Wrath coming through. They're gonna blink forward, they get the stun on, or sorry, the uh, trap on the Venge. She's gonna be going down here, and he made in the area. Blinks forward, able attack. to find that one. So with the Venge picked off, now they'll be able to take a four, uh, five on four. They're already up here in the mid lane. And Radiant's he's gonna go for a basher, so he's gonna have a super basher here shortly. Radiant's bottom, bottom tower taken down, the Nature's Prophet able to rotate through, creating even more Treons now. They can look to kinda of commit where they want, and uh, with all these, there's no way to clear it. I don't like it. Uh, who, who, who am I kidding? We've got a gyrocopter. They can clear pretty much anything, but now their call down's on cooldown. Can I feel static storms? Attack. Doing what they can. Glimpse unfortunately didn't wait long enough here. Spirit Breaker stealthed up. He's gonna go for the auto attack. Gets vacuumed away though. A nice vac. Unfortunately, no wall follow up just yet. There's gonna be a trap under the dark cover. He's gonna be going down, but the Spirit Breaker's already fallen. And now it's gonna be the tiny. He goes down. Anti mage dominating. Blink forward. He's gonna maybe hang out here to go for a kill. Not the case. They forced two buybacks. They're gonna back off. Looks like they're just going for the chip damage they can get onto the, uh, the range racks there. Darkseer does pick up a casual uh, Hood of Defiance. Like to engage whenever he needs to. Santimage, a bit tankier now that he's got that Abyssal Blade extra 10 strength, so. Good. Extra 190 health. As well as uh, quite a bit more damage here. Hits for another 70. And has that potential bash chance. And then can just lock somebody down, burn their mana very quickly, and uh, bring down whoever he needs to. Disruptor clearing out creeps here. He's got drums and an Aether Lens, that's about it for him. Which is not bad for a Disruptor, I mean, he's kind of playing the uh, the hard five there. Holy Treants, though. Almost has that Refresher Orb on his, uh, on the Nature's Prophet as well. He can go pick that up kind of whenever he wants to. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case just yet. Zeus is still quite a ways away from having that refresher. Doesn't have to worry about it yet. But Antimus is still farming to its heart's content. So now we'll, we shall see 20 seconds and we'll probably see them unveil it. 40 seconds for wait for the Zeus ulti, I'm sure. But that's a crazy amount of damage. So anybody on the map is going to take a lot of damage from that one. They do have the Night Stalker eggs ready to go, so they can track down this Prophet now. He hasn't been hiding in the trees too much, but it's no attack that they can't wait for. And I think that 
Elab, they've got to kind of make the push here. They got to go get Roche and go for it. They're a lot of damage coming up from this gyrocopter. He's got a courier heading out to the secret shop for him. Almost has enough for uh, for that demon edge. Oh, Spirit Breaker might actually find the courier. Oh. They're going to pop the Zeus healthy. There's the first nature's wrath and then the second one coming through. Fortunately not particularly well timed. But that is a lot of Treons tr that they can send down. Oh, Tiny doesn't clear him just yet. A gift from the I gotta be careful now. But they're gonna go for Roshan, so they're ready to push. Which I think isn't very much the right call. Oh, anti mage blinks forward. Sells the TB, buys a Moon Shard. I don't even see that much gold here. So is he gonna consume the Moon Shard then for the Aegis slot? Oh, wow. Oh. Looks like some unfortunate all chat there. Spin wheel, miss spin. That's unfortunate. There's no way to. Ah, poor guy. Probably just meant to uh, spin wheel something to his team, like time or something. But nonetheless, we're gonna continue on forward. So, an absurd amount of damage potential now from this anti mage. 0.44 seconds on his uh, auto attacks and he hits very hard as well Nature's Prophet still doing a good job chipping away at these towers here slowly but steadily working away at them Strange Racks took a fair bit of damage this gyrocopter takes a lot of damage as well from the uh, that, oh he went for hmm, interesting choice went for a talisman of evasion now so anti mage probably has to pick up an MKB uh, in order to six slot which isn't terrible but it doesn't make him particularly tanky. I'm gonna head forward here. Charging onto the Night Stalker. Spirit Breaker's gonna cancel. Doesn't want to commit for it. Anti Mage again, just farming out the, this Radiance middle, middle lane. He's got his Mansa style. He can pop and leave it behind. Radiance he can go for those towers. Tower doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. But that's another tier 3 gone. So we're in the lane exposed. Radiance top tower is under attack. Pipe picked up by the Darks here, so he's got. A little bit of protection against these Zeus now, but still not quite enough. Radiance bottom barracks are under attack. But they're just getting ratted now by this anti mage and the nature's prophet. He's got a blink dagger, not gonna be able to get that range racks, but it's only got 20 health, so he can just mount it. He's actually gonna be able to dodge it there. Doesn't pop the abyssal blade on the gyrocopter. Might have been a kill Radiance if he had. Said he's gonna go for this attack. melee racks now that the other one's already cleared out. He's still got an A, just gonna TP out. Up in the top lane, they get Radiance that tower as well. Charge comes through, connects onto the tiny. He's gonna get swapped to safety, but no, Glintz is gonna be there. Ventral Spirit is gonna fall as well. Just throws out the wave of terror, gyrocopter. He's gonna get stunned up, and that's gonna be a good game well played. GG's gonna get called. The celebratory alts come out, and uh, uh, might have been a little early, but Anthony should have it right. Unfortunately, though, I'm calling the wrong spin wheel. And Elab and Fel missed. Elab takes it 2 0. He's gonna be pretty happy with that. And they won't have to uh, they won't have to worry about it too much. Oh, hold on here. They won't have to worry about a whole lot going their way.